There is a sense among some of his top advisors, uh, basically that the media got all of this wrong, that the people really did not understand the forces driving Donald Trump's candidacy. I want to play a little sound of what uh, Trump's campaign CEO, Steve Bannon, said earlier this morning. If you listen to Breitbart News Daily and you know, read the pages of Breitbart, you know, you're not surprised this morning. Yeah. If you read the New York Times and the Washington Post and the Wall Street Journal and the Financial Times of London. Um, you're, I, I think for the audiences, that, I think because I know they refer to, you as, to all the audience members as stupid and mm -hmm. don't know what's going on and, you know. Or, you know it's Klansmen, all Steve. Like, We're all Klansmen. Yeah, all these names Klansmen. Like, so it's, you. It's, the same, it's the same thing as Brexit, that yeah. they didn't really understand Brexit and they didn't understand what, what the underlying uh, desire for people to have control of their own lives that, that Brexit uh, represented. I think you saw the same thing last night, and I, I just, uh, you know, I, I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to see the media meltdown. And now that he has been elected, Brooke, of course, Donald Trump has a lot of work to do to build out his administration, to prepare for the transition. And I think a lot of Americans across the country are asking the question of, can he uh, heal the divides that have really come open during this election? It is going to be a tough thing for him to do.